A lot of people have said a lot of different things about Lamar Jackson over the course of his very, very short career. They said he can't pass. They said he's a run first quarterback. They said he's a running back. They, and, and I mean, the list, it obviously goes on and on and on. And it's crazy because with the list, it it doesn't even get extended. Because they don't add stuff to the list. They just take the same things and they try to remix them. But it's all the same thing being regurgitated over and over again just by a different voice, by a different name, by a different person. But one thing that you can't say about Lamar Jackson is that he is not a trendsetter because he is. And another thing that you have to say about Lamar Jackson, whether you like him or not, whether you want to admit he's a really good quarterback or not, whether you want to admit he's an elite quarterback or not, is that he is a record breaker. And on Monday night against the Colts, he broke plenty more records that night. Now, there was one record that before the broadcast was starting or before the game started on ESPN, they just kept talking about it so much over and over and over again. And I'm like, man, I just and I tweeted about it, too. And I talked about it during the live stream. I do not like that. They've been talking about the rushing record so much. I just I don't like that. I feel like it's getting so much attention, and that, of course, started with Vic Angrio getting a little upset over the Ravens doing something that had nothing to do with him, even though he did the same thing, but even worse, last year against the Dolphins. But anyway, um, Lamar Jackson, he broke the right record, and the first record that he broke was breaking the Ravens into 4-1, and one. Uh, and then another record he broke was the most passing yards by a Ravens quarterback ever. And another record that he broke was just shutting a lot of people up because they sound like broken records. But another one that he broke was the highest uh, passing completion percentage with having over 400 yards and four touchdowns. This dude threw for 442, four touchdowns. Like that's, first off, it's the step-by-step. -step. 442 yards that's that's a lot now was it empty calories though no because he had touchdowns to back it up he had scores to back it up and it it came in it was in comeback mode but it was what was needed to get the job done and they won because of those yards because you got a lot of quarterbacks out there they throw for a bunch of yards but the yards they essentially won't mean anything but <laughs> these yards, they certainly matter. And then, of course, the four touchdowns. You know, I mean, anytime you throw four touchdowns, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And then the completion percentage. That's, that's what's crazy about this whole thing. Because this dude, he, his completion percentage was 86%. And for you to complete 86% of your passes, like, a lot of times I can't even do that in Madden. I sure be trying, and I be trying to throw a bunch of touchdown passes with no picks, but I, I, it's a struggle for me. But Lamar Jackson did it, and it was, it was like a video game performance in real life. And that's what we've seen so much from him. And this is why when he, it was announced this morning that he won the AFC Offensive Player of the Week, it wasn't a surprise. I don't think that anybody was shocked from it. I don't think anybody didn't see it coming i feel like as soon as that game ended then we all knew who the award was going to and not even in no cocky or arrogant way or anything like that it's just like okay yeah lamar just did that ravens just did that hollywood just did that andrews just did that the offensive line they just did that Devontae freeman huh, he just did that latavius murray who had dropped one earlier Lamar still went back to him, and he just did that. Everybody contributed and made a big difference in that game. But the leader, of course, uh, was Lamar Jackson. Because as a quarterback, a lot of times as a quarterback, you can assume that just because a player is a quarterback that they're a leader. That's not true. It's not true. It's not because just because somebody is in a position of leadership, it doesn't mean that they are a leader. But Lamar Jackson is crazy because ever since his rookie year, like you, you, when we watch these quarterbacks, when we watch these just players, period, 
um, you can see you see traits about them early on in their careers. Um, and then you watch them over the course of a couple of years and you see that a lot of guys, they can change. They can turn into different players. Uh, they get a little more recognition, a little more money, a little more endorsements and whatnot, a little more sponsorships and all that. And they could change a bit. And there's nothing wrong with change. It, change is not always a bad thing. Because I know when people say, oh, Pete, you change. You could have changed for the better. You could also change for the worse. But uh, with Lamar, it seems as if the, the characteristics and the qualities that we saw about him when he was a rookie, it's all the same stuff now, but it's getting even more attention. Because with Lamar Jackson, he is one person, one quarterback, that never takes the praise, never accepts the praise. He, you can Watch him at his presses, and I'm sure you've all have seen it before. They can be like, oh, Lamar Jackson, you just did this, you just did that, you just broke that record, you just da 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 Like even like last week for the Russian record. He's like, oh, Lamar, y'all just broke the Russian record. How you feel about that? He said, I ain't even care about the record. I just wanted to win. Oh, Lamar Jackson, you just did all this, you just passed all these y'all, you just passed all these touchdowns. Shout out to my teammates. My teammates did a really great job. They came through. He always deflects the praise off of him. And gives it to somebody else. Because he doesn't want all that. He, he is happy with other people being happy. That's what makes him happy. At least in, in the football world. And it seems as if he will go to extreme measures. And be willing to have his name dragged through the mud. Just so other people can smile. Because that, that takes me back to... um. The LJ Fun Day. Now, we knew, of course, it was contract talk. There's been contract talk for a while. It's been happening for a long time now. And that has been a subject, especially going into this season, that has been a subject of a lot of talk shows. Of course, Shannon Sharp, Skip Bayless, Stephen, all, all of them. Ma Jackson, contract talk with the Ravens. Should Ravens pay him? Should Ravens not pay him? Should he take a cheap deal? Should he take a discount? Should the Ravens move on? All that stuff. And, of course, all that Bucky Brooks stuff. Well, yeah, Ravens should draft another quarterback. In. Anyway, but um, Lamar, he still he had the fun day. And he was out there playing football with the kids, interacting with the kids to put a smile on their face, knowing that there will be cameras, knowing that it will make his rounds in the media. And even when it did... He still doubled down. He said he's going to run it back next year, too. He said he's going to run it back next year, too. So, and again, and he said it, it's about the kids. It's not about him. It's about the kids. Letting them see somebody who came from where they came from that made it. And, and allowing them to see that, hey, you ain't got to get into all that funny business. You ain't got to do all that. So, he... uh he has been, from his rookie year, we, like I said, we saw the characteristics and the, and the traits, the character traits that show that he is the ultimate team player. The ultimate team player. There's no I in team. There's also no I in Lamar or Jackson. So it's, he is all about team. So, uh, and, and it, it just, that hasn't changed at all. Hasn't changed. From the beginning. Like I said, every time you would talk, always team, 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 team. Never me, 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 me. Only time that he would be like me, 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 me is if he made a mistake. Is if he threw an interception, if he fumbled the ball, if he turned it over, that's when he would talk about me. For the bad stuff, he would acknowledge, hey, that's on me. But for the good stuff, he would shout them out. So I'm sure this won't be his last AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Um, but, of course, he got a, the ultimate record that I'm sure he's looking forward to breaking. And we hope that he could definitely get that this year. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I'm sure we'll see some more of each other later on today. We out.